Okay, here we go. So, good morning, Cal Young. Today is April 8th. Um, let's see, it'll be Wednesday, because yeah, <laughs> filming this on a Tuesday. So, um, welcome to the morning announcements, and I have a special guest. So, just bear with me for a second, and I'm going to invite them in. So, here we go. <laughs> Let's see, is my special guest here? Hello, hello. I don't see my special guest. <gasps> here she comes. Oh, and she has a friend. Good morning and welcome to the announcements. <laughs> Who do I have? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, Who's your friend? Zoe, decided, my daughter Zoe decided to join me today for announcements. I love She's, that. Uh, She's really bummed that Take Your Kid to Work Day won't be happening in the same way this year. So she decided Aww. this would be a great way to come with me today <laughs> for announcements. It's kind of cool that you get to be at home teaching and she's there. Yeah, yeah so you have yeah. Take Your Child to Work Day every day. Exactly, every day. That's what we're doing. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm so happy to see you. Yeah, so good to see everyone. It's been wonderful, I think, to see everyone on Zoom and in the Google Classrooms. I'm amazed by how many of my students are showing up. That right? has been wonderful, and I know everybody is feeling really good about um, being able to see our students' faces and being able to connect and talk with everybody and see how you're doing. So that has been really wonderful. Well, I sure am enjoying it. I, I yeah. mean, my screen is literally will be full of kids' faces. Yeah. And it's fun. I, I really do enjoy it. So yeah. I don't know. Things might change, though. So um, for those of you listening, I know I'm kind of straying off, but um, we are talking about Zoom. And I'm using the application Zoom here to invite Ms. Hoke in and her daughter. It's Zoe, right? Zoe? Yep. Okay, I want to make sure I was right. Okay, so and um, so we are using this a wonderful app called Zoom, and we are zooming every day with our students from um, twelve thirty in the afternoon until three thirty, and uh, we look forward to seeing your kids. I um, want to talk about some of the observations we've been seeing with Zoom and Zoom etiquette. Um, have, do you have any observations, things that you've been seeing, things that kids need to think about or just be wary of? And I mean, I think the big one is, that I've noticed is just making sure that they get in with their names. Because some kids have been asking me, why am I not getting into Zoom? And it's because I can't see what their name is. So just using their first and last name is so important so we know who they are. Because we're trying to keep it secure and safe for everyone. So that's a big one for me. Absolutely. I've seen that too. And I know that Mr. Schiff ha uh, sent out an email with information about it. So I forwarded that email on to all of my students about how they could go into settings. And um, I know that students were even helping kids take care of that because I allowed a kid to come in and I said, okay, who are you? And I could see their face and knew who it was. Yeah. And then we all helped them in Zoom be able to take care of that. So um, I love the way kids are being so helpful in Zoom. Yeah. And all the tips and tricks that they're sharing. Well, and they're already better than us teachers. So that's amazing. <laughs> I'm so glad you mentioned that. Um, today in class, I was asking that students please be respectful of all the adults, especially like me. I'm almost 55. And for me, I didn't grow up with all of this technology, no. but they have had it, most of them, since day one. And so they are very tech savvy and to please have some patience with us teachers trying to learn something all brand new and how to teach in a way we've, we, we've never taught like that before. So, yeah, absolutely. One thing, one other thing I was going to mention, I was talking to my sister who's a graduate student at the University of Washington and they're doing Zoom classes. Wow. And she said a big thing in her classes that the um, professors are talking about, and the same thing I've been talking about with my students is, you've got to use your own picture. You oh. can't like put a picture of someone else up in your place. So that's really important. Just, um, it's kind of a respect thing and just kind of knowing who you are. So that's a big one that she and I were talking about. She has to do even for college. They're asking students to only use their own face, whether it's a picture or a video, it should only be them, not someone else. I'm so glad you mentioned that as well, because I have students that are going to be brand new to my class next term, right? Starting next week. 
And some of you, I won't know. Sure, I could pull up Synergy and I could see their little pictures in there. But for some of us, we've changed so much in a year since those pictures were put on there that it would be really helpful if kids don't want to be on live video, but they at least have a current photo of themselves. Thank you for mentioning that because that will be really helpful for all of us who have electives and our classes are changing next week. Yeah. Um, Cool. I have something else uh, I talked with all my kids today about is that please be respectful of each other and don't take photos with your phone yeah. because even if they were your friends, you would ask permission to do something with that photo, like share it or whatever. It's about common etiquette to ask permission if you're going to take someone's photo or use someone's photo or their artwork for something. And, yeah. so, and it's a privacy. I mean, it's a federal, there's some federal laws around privacy. So you really want to be thoughtful and careful too. Absolutely. And so they all seemed really respectful about it. And, and I haven't seen any issues yet. And I'm really hoping not to. So the kids are actually really good and listening to everybody's comments. And um, they, they I think they're great. for the most part, very kind and considerate. So um, yeah. I'm excited on, you know, on this journey that we're on the new adventure. Yes. Me okay, too. it's so been let's wonderful. See. Do you have anything else with Zoom etiquette that we'd like to mention? I think I think those are the big ones. We are probably going to share. I think we've talked about as a Cal Young community sharing some common etiquette kind of guidelines. So we'll probably be doing that in the next few days. So everybody is on the same page. So yeah. Just, so yeah. Yeah. But those are the big ones. Knowing who you are, using your own picture, being respectful of other people, and not video recording or photographing. Yeah. Awesome. Okay. okay. So the other thing we want to talk about is we really need you to be watching these announcements every day because there is a lot that's changing for us and a lot that's changing um, for you. And so we want to make sure like if our Zoom schedule changes, we will announce it here and let you know. Um, we've been learning so much this week about the technology, about Google Classroom, um, and we know you are too. So we're, um, we appreciate your patience with us and we're gonna be patient with you as you learn. Um, we are also um, going to use the information we learned from this week to try to decide how we wanna move forward in trimester three. Um, we start trimester three next Monday, we're ready to go, and we just need to think about what would be the best way to do that for you in terms of our office hours and the way we're doing things in Google Classroom. So we really appreciate um, you guys tuning in to these announcements so you know what's going on. Thank you, that's so yeah. important, right? Kids need to turn in, tune in every day and watch the announcements. And you can find those on the distant learning, distance learning tab on the Cal Young homepage. So if you're looking for them, you just scroll down and then you'll see the list for all the announcements even before you guys started back. So you can look at all of them and make sure to just look at the most recent one because we have all these updates. Like Ms. Hoke said, we might be having a different schedule next week. We're not sure, but we want you to have the most current information. So please tune in for the announcements. Um, let's see. I, I'm, I think all we have left is today's birthday. Yeah. Is there anything else that you'd like to say? I think I'm good. I think I'm excited. I'm just excited to keep going with this. It's been really fun to see everyone. Okay. So today's birthdays, uh, the only birthday we have today is Carly Hansen, but we have a special um, announcement because Mr. Mitchell accidentally forgot birthdays for yesterday. And so yesterday's birthdays go out to uh, Alexandra Hartsfeld, uh, Daniel Mills, and Matthew, Matthew Woodkey. So happy birthday to all of you. I hope you have a fantastic social distancing birthday because that's <laughs> how it is now. Yeah. Um, okay. And those are the daily announcements. Our daily announcements. Thank you. Take Thank care, you everyone. Bye. 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 Bye.